Hey friends. Yeah. Day did not turn out so well. Um, the whole taking the rabbits for a processing thing didn't really work out the way we wanted to. I got a video coming to explain that, but today I just wanted to uh, switch focus, switch gears again on the trailer. So here we have a set of extra axle um, brakes. We took off the trailer. And I'll explain this to you real quick. I won't show you the mechanics of it on this one because I've already got it done. Uh, I don't have anybody here to do the videoing and it's a little tough to do. I can't do this stuff one-handed. So we'll go over to the trailer the other side. I'll explain to you. This is pretty easy to do. Just about anybody with uh, average um, skills can do this. So there's what a brand new brake drum looks like. This is what an old drum looks like. This is the assembly for the electric brakes. I'll give you a real quick rundown on how this works. This is an electromagnet. The electromagnet is attracted to this surface inside of here. So as you increase the voltage with your electric brake controller, the magnet increases its pull onto here so as that increases this is what happened here the magnet begins to drag and you can see the shoe move out so that's the connection um, this particular drum some might have said oh you can use that over again but not me i'm going to save it so what i think i'm going to do is cut the outside off I may plasma cut it, I'm not sure yet, and use the hubs just for a field trailer. The hubs and the bearings and everything for some crappy old, uh, you know, running through the muck. The bearings weren't in good enough shape to run on the highway. Uh, so here's the, uh, here's the genuine Dexter. The box that it comes in. And I'll open up a box, the right hand side, and show you what that looks like. So you get an idea. So there's the drum there. Look at the condition of that. Look how pitted that is. And I know guys that would run that. I'm not kidding you. So here's this one. I'm going to try and do it so I don't drop the bearings out. Look at that. That's brand new. So this is what you call a loaded drum. So you buy this loaded. It comes with everything. Because we had a mass here. We had this crappy old aluminum wheels. These are ET mags. ET magnesium wheels. Uh, they use these oval washers. I can get the oval washers. Yeah, they look neat, but I don't know. I'm not a real big fan of them on a trailer. So, and that's a Unilug 5 by whatever you want it to be. Oh, we bought new tires too. So, we spent a few bucks. We got the tires. Jake and I, Jake's at work right now. He had to look after the shift. So I promised you to give you a peek at the brand new brakes. And I'm telling you, this is easy to do. The hardest part is the backing nuts. Is getting these nuts off here. Right, because you got to get in there. Uh, you can only get to the top ones. And the bottom ones are blocked by the spring. So this was a hammer and a wrench. The top was the impact. And two wires. There's no polarity. Um, you just apply the 12 volts that comes from the controller and the brake fires so just opening the box these ones and there you got it so it comes with nuts um, the uh, Plastic plugs to keep the water out, which really doesn't do a lot. And there you go. There's a brand new brake assembly. Okay? So you get brand new springs, brand new magnets, brand new wire, brand new shoes, brand new everything. They are left and right, so don't mix them up. There's a left side and a right side. So you have to put them on. And so you buy a left kit and a right kit. Left kit being the driver's side. So, and that you can tell 
These are opposite of each other because here's the lever. Here's the lever, both pointing this way, right? But the magnet is here and the magnet is there. So the magnet gets stalled on the bottom. So this is the right hand side. That's the left hand side, which is driver side, passenger side. So that's all you gotta remember is to keep that straight. We didn't look at the left side. We have no idea what it looks like. The right sides, um, the one side is stuck on. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and back off the shoes and see if I can get it off. I can't get the drum off. So that's why we just said to hell with them, bought it all. Like this was all 900 bucks for the brakes, tires, rims, um, drums, uh, idlers. These are idlers. So these do nothing. So we bought these two. Um, it all comes with the lug nuts and bearings and everything. I mean, we could have saved a little bit of money. Could have run empty drums. Yeah, you can do that. But it's like, you know what? Screw it. We don't have time. I'm so under the under the gun here for time. So that's our tires. Chinesium tires. 15 inch. Um, decent rims. So that that's where we're at. So that'll be the rims and tires going on here. You know, we were looking on the way home. Jake was looking online at, to replace this trailer. Uh, by the way, it came with a winch. So we bought this off of Dernan Motors in Kitchener. And... Uh, I'll tell you, this is this is eight thousand dollars. I mean, it's got a barn door. Yeah, it's not in the greatest shape, and got to do a little bit of work on it. Like we got everything inside fixed up, the roof's back on. You know, we'll cock the holes. Like it's got a lot of rub marks from the from the thing rubbing. But I mean, you know what? Like to do what we got to do with it, we're gonna have fifteen hundred, sixteen hundred dollars into it. I think by the time we get the steel for the tongue. So it's not that bad of a deal. Um, yeah, so I, I don't, you know, I'm not that, I'm not that butthurt over it. I, I think we got a good deal. Uh, we paid 400 bucks for it. It'll all be back together again. It'll be legally on the road with decent trailer. And uh, with new brakes, new electric brakes that all work and it'll be legal. Um, there should be no reason. And by the way, yeah, you can run um, one set of brakes. It, that is legal here. You don't have to have uh, brakes on all the axles. So that's a bit of a bonus, saved a few bucks. Um, yeah, probably saved about uh, uh, maybe $150, $200 an axle. 200 bucks an axle, yeah. So anyway, that's where we are. We got all that done. Got the rabbits, brought them back. It's a long story, you'll hear, you'll see the video. I'm gonna hold off a little bit to do the video. That video will be released sometime next week. Uh, I'm going to jump into this video. So there we are. So we got all the welding done inside yet yesterday. So this is where we're at now. So you'll see this. I'm going to paint all this rusty crap up. It's got to look decent going down the highway. We're going to put some fancy stickers on it. You'll see that. And uh, so that's where we are now. And I keep busy too busy i got a lot of work to do i only got three or four days left and then i'm heading out so yeah anyway that's the trailer for now if you have any questions let me know these electric brakes are dead easy don't be afraid of them just take your time do it right you know there's lots of information on the web the first time i ever did this there was nothing on the interweb nothing you didn't know what the heck you were doing so now you got all kinds of information so there you are. I'm going to go back under there. I'm going to try and slack off the uh, the other adjuster and see if I can get that drum off. If not, the whole thing's coming off as an assembly, I think. Well, we'll give it a shot. And uh, there's there's where we are. Okay, guys. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for uh, thanks for the loyalty. The channel's been great. It's been, people have been, been very awesome. I love it. And uh, so that's what we picked up today also. Get to get one of those. So some of you will know what that is. Some won't. That's okay. If you don't, don't worry about it. If you do, you know what I mean. Okay. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. I got to get back at this. I got to lay under here some more. I wish I could video for you. If I don't do the, this side, I'll get Jake to do the video. But this could take a long time. Depends how rusty everything is. So, which is kind of rusty. Anyway, cheers for now. Uh, God bless you all. Love you all. Peace. Um, friends, it's been awesome. Everything's been going good. We'll see you soon. Don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell.